Hi guys, how are you? I'm good, I'm fine. <laughs> in this video, I'll show you how to draw in front of face. Let's start with an adult face first. When drawing big shapes, use colored pencil rather than pencils, you know. The reason is to separate shape and detail. Sure, we're gonna draw detail with pencil later. <laughs> Okay, draw a large circle, please. Then draw a small circle around the bottom line of the large circle. Connect two circles like me. These lines will be the face line. Then draw the neck along the edge of the small circle, you know. Of course, draw a shoulder as well. Shoulders are visible to our eyes. That means the shoulders are wider than the width of the face. Alright, draw the eyes by dividing the half of the lens that combines the large and small circles. Then divide the center of the eyes and chin and draw your nose. Draw your mouth in the middle of the nose and chin, okay? <laughs> draw the eyebrow naturally with the eye. <laughs> sure, draw the ears between eyebrow and the nose, okay? Finally, let's draw the hair on the head line. The point is, the hair is naturally planted on the headline. Okay, headline. From now on, let's draw a details with a pencil. Change the shape of the face to look prettier and uh, draw the hair more naturally, please. Let's draw the human face one more time. <laughs> a child face. When drawing a child face, the difference is the position of the eyes, you know. Draw a little below the other eyes positions. As with exercise, training and practice are the most important we know, right?
time to study each detail of the eyes, nose, mouth, ears, hair. <laughs> Draw a horizontal line and think about the eyes. Some eyes have a raised tail and the others has a lower tail. Of course, there are eyes without double eyelid and others with it, you know. Always, we should think about the overall form first, okay? I will say, 100 times, <laughs> it is very important, you know. And one more important thing, that when drawing your pupil, slightly cover the upper eyelid. Look at the, your pupil in the mirror. The pupil is bigger than you thought. Eyebrow has many designs as well. And since the eyebrows are part of a thin and short hair, you know, so express them with a short and weak pencil touch, please. Wonderful! Next, the nose. There are various types of nose as well. For example, there are sharp and blunt nose and large nose holes and small nose holes, <laughs> etc. You know? Look around your friends and people. Yeah, see and practice a lot of nose with your feeling, please. Throw leaves around the center of the mountain shapes, called you know Cupid bow. <laughs> there are many shapes in the mouth as well, so 
Various exercises are required, please. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the ears have a complicated design, right? But try to draw them as simple as possible, please. Follow my ear design first, and then you can make your own design. It's okay. <laughs> Finally, let's observe the hair. The types of hair are short curly hair and long straight hair, thick wave. And you can edit various contrasts according to the color. Mm -hmm. In particular, one strain of hair is important, you know. But it is also important to see the lump. Right? Anyway, take some time to practice a lot, okay? In front of face, adult face, in children face. Mm -hmm. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching it. See you in next lesson. Bye.